All right, hello everyone. Today we're going to practice some more meditation. So we're going to do a mantra meditation in the style of the Kriya Yoga tradition, which I was initiated into by Roy Eugene Davis and um, who was taught by Paramahansa Yogananda. Okay, so <clears throat> the mantra that we're going to do is going to be the mantra that it's one of two of the main mantras that you're initially taught in this tradition. So this is the same mantra that I was first given when I practiced. And then we're going to practice that mantra for about five to ten minutes. And then we're going to sit and abide in that peace that has been revealed to us through the practice of focusing the mind on just the mantra. And then we will do a little bit of what we call breathing through the chakras or shashumna breathing which is really like the beginning step of the official kriya yoga pranayama but of course you cannot do you, you have to be initiated into kriya yoga to really be taught the official kriya pranayama and it's you know i have to say that this is not official you know so this is not an official kriya yoga initiation or anything but this is great. If you don't have a, a guru or a teacher or anything, you have to start somewhere. And many of you know that I'm an astrologer, and it's a great time for us to be students of all kinds of things right now, and especially meditation. So we're going to practice, and you want to have your spine straight. Um, there's a natural arch in the spine. When you're Practicing the mantra, you want to have your awareness in the space between the eyebrows and be slightly looking up, not straining, but look slightly up as if you were staring at a mountain. And when we practice the mantra, the mantra will be on the inhale, you mentally speak or repeat the sound so. So inwardly, don't audibly speak it, so on the inhale. And then at the top of the breath, just try to abide here in that stillness. And then on the exhale, hum. So it is so hum. Of course, this these sounds do have meanings, but please, I ask you, do not try to know what it means. Do not try to learn the meaning. If you're meant to know that at some point, you'll know it. It's not important. It's a benign meaning, and it will only distract you. I was not taught the meaning of this sound when I first did it. And I've taught a lot of people this, and in experience, whenever I explain the meaning of the word, it only distracts people when they just think about that. So, 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 hum, will be our mantra, and then we will sit and abide and practice the shashumna breathing. This is where you essentially imagine a cool current, and when you inhale through the nose only, Inhale, just a normal inhale, and imagine a cool current moving up the center of the spine, up to the crown or to the spiritual eye. Hold it there at the top of the breath, and then exhale and imagine a warm current flowing back down your spine. And you have to imagine this at first, but we'll try that for 12 times or so. And when I say, all right, well, now it's time to end, just pull the current up to the crown and just hold it there and just abide in that peace. And you can remain in that as long as you're able to, even if the meditation ends. Okay, let's get started. Feel yourself relaxing more and more with each breath.
Open your mind and your heart to the infinite, to God. However, that reality is real to you. Acknowledge it. Honor it. And abide in it, knowing that this reality known as God is omnipresent and it is therefore here, now, in fullness. We merely need to awaken to it. We take a moment to acknowledge the saints and sages of all enlightenment traditions. We honor the innate divinity of every person and thing. In particular, we honor the Kriya Yoga lineage, Yogeshwar, Mavatar Babaji, Lari Mashai, Sri Yukteswar, Paramhansa Yogananda, and all their successors. with your awareness in the space between the eyebrows or in the heart. Just abide here. Feel yourself being calmer with each breath. Now introduce the mantra, so hum. Mentally speak the sound so on the inhale. Then on the exhale, mentally speak the sound hum. When thoughts come in and distract you, just ignore them and give everything to the sound.
Notice the stillness at the top and at the bottom of the breath. No thoughts, pure being. Notice how calm your mind is now. You can almost even just hear the mantra repeating. After a while, you don't have to mentally speak it. You can just sort of hear it mentally. And if you like, you can continue with that, or you can just let the mantra start to fade away and dissolve into this peace that has now been revealed to you. Notice the thought forms are less invasive now. Now let's introduce the Shashumna breathing. Remember, just imagine inhaling through the nose, feeling a cool current rising up from the base of the spine, all the way up the spine into the crown or the spiritual eye, holding it there, and then exhaling and letting it flow back down like warm water. And do We'll do 12 of these. It doesn't have to be 12. Just do a few of these until we've done enough. And then I'll say so. And then you can just pull your awareness up to the crown and just abide there. It's not important how many you do, it's more important that you do them comfortably and with alertness. So it's better to just do two or three without being lightheaded or uncomfortable or anything than it is to do a great many of them.
Let's do one or two more. And then pull the current up to the crown and just remain there. Now just abide in this pure state of being. And just, you can just abide here or you can contemplate your essence of being. No longer you can stay in this calm after effect of the pranayama practice, the more benefits you receive. Just remain here with the space, with your awareness in the space between the eyebrows or in the heart center, the space between the dorsal blades, the chest. Take a moment to feel the love you have for all life everywhere and for your own self as well. It can be very helpful to contemplate unconditional love at this time. Before we conclude, let's take a moment to pray for the highest good of everyone, everywhere, in all realms, impersonally, just wish for the highest good of everyone, everywhere.
You can even take a moment to visualize the planet Earth. I start with North America, where I am. I visualize the globe, North America and South America, and I just radiate love and light, selfless, compassionate goodwill to all the countless forms of life. Let the globe spin and wish that same goodwill for all the billions of life forms in the Pacific Ocean, now Australia, Southeast Asia, all of Asia now, highest good, all of Russia, India, the Indian Ocean, just radiate light. Eurasia, the Middle East, Europe, Africa, highest good. The Atlantic Ocean, all the life forms there, wish for its highest good. Now turn and wish that same highest good for your own self. And know that as you go about your day, you have the full support of the universal processes of nature and of God's grace. You merely have to be receptive to it. And that's what this practice is all about. Wish you all the best. Let's chant Om three times for the healing of body, mind, and soul as Yogananda used to do. Om. Shanti Shanti Hari Om Shanti May absolute peace pervade the universe May absolute peace pervade the universe You can open your eyes now Thank you for joining me in meditation you wish to know more about Kriya Yoga, I would suggest reading the book Autobiography of a Yogi. If you haven't done that, if you're serious about Kriya Yoga and initiation or furthering your meditation lessons, you can feel free to send me an email or another qualified practitioner and see what the next best step might be.